Hi, this is Matt in the ODOT CAD Services Office. In this video we're going to look at how to generate your seating calculations from your cross sections. Our office tends to receive a lot of questions or support requests on this topic, so hopefully you'll find it useful. We'll start by looking at an idea that's on the Bentley Open Civils Idea Portal, then show a short how-to demo. As of this recording, ORD does not have a built-in command, function, or report to calculate seeding quantities like Geopack did. ODOT had previously submitted an enhancement request for this functionality and has also posted an idea on the Bentley Open Civil Ideas Portal. This is the idea that ODOT has submitted on the Ideas Portal. Once you've logged into the site with your email address, used for your Bentley account, you'll be able to click the vote button on the left for possible inclusion into future releases. Your votes could help get this promoted for higher consideration within Bentley. ORD doesn't provide the functionality currently to uh, generate seating and mulching quantities the same way that uh, Geopack did or Select Series 2 or Select Series 4 did. Um, ODOT has an enhancement request submitted for this functionality, but we don't have any timeline of if or when that it will be implemented. So for the time being, we have to come up with some alternative workflow to make this happen. So what I'm going to show here is how to use the OHDOT Dirt Calc application. And there are a couple of little issues that maybe I'll point out through this video, but uh, Number one is the the help icon doesn't seem to work, so um, we'll have to fix that. But if you need to or want to review the help document, you can go to the O3 standards and project wise and browse all the way down through the connect standards and to the VBA docs. It'll be this dirt calc application. And when that is opened, the there's a note here that this application is unable to recognize cross section graphics generated from the open roads terrain model or proposed 3D graphics. So um, the functionality of this application is from you know SS2 or even uh, yes from the SS2 uh, versions and even SS4. So we may not be able to use all this functionality but we can use some parts of it and make something work. So what we'll do is I'm going to leave this sheet or this text level as the sheet text for now. The, we may have a. You may find it's easier to change that and put it on the scratch level, but I'll let you determine that. Um, so I'm going to use under the no, section number one for major areas and lengths. I'm going to change it from area to length by data points, and length by major element won't work with ORD as that, as noted in that help document because the graphics here are generated from the 3D model. So length by data points, and then we'll measure. And I've seen different designers do this differently, but you can extend this length. Um, you can start it wherever you want or end it beyond or um, beyond the actual proposed limits. Some folks like to go to the construction limits. Others like to go to the proposed right-of-way line. Um, for, for now, I'm just going to use these proposed graphics here. And I'm just snapping to the endpoints of each one of those. And when I'm done, I'll just reset. And I'm being prompted to place a piece of text. So I'll just place it above this quantity table for the time being. And you could place it wherever you felt um, best. And then I'll do the same thing for the other side. And now that I have these two, I can go to the second column or the second section of this and I can select the elements that I want to add together and I can just highlight the two of those and then click the add button. You will want to make sure that the bottom of your screen you only show two elements being selected. Sometimes um, when I was testing this I would accidentally place two pieces of text on top of each other so I had three elements being selected and my my value when I added them was not correct. So. So now I have my seating width, my total seating width, and this is being placed on this sheet text level. And I think one of the other enhancements we can make is go ahead and make this be a slanted font um, so it would match the other fonts that we're using. Um, as well as you'll notice when I go ahead and I drop this piece of text in this uh, box here, 
the background color for the uh, quantity table itself is actually masking out the text being placed on top. So um, we could fix that by just selecting the element and changing the priority to 500. So that would bring it all the way to the top. Uh, the other way we could fix that is now that that's set at 500, when I go ahead and just add those together, because the act of uh, priority is set to 500, it's going ahead and placing it above that background shade. So if you didn't want to do that, um, let me see, so if we move one of these out of the way, you could also use the enter data fields, and I just have my text toolbar docked here. Um, so we could enter in the value within the quantity table, and that's um, that would match. Uh, again, you could probably just go ahead and change the font at that point as well if you wanted to use it just by placing it in from what the application creates. Um, the downside to placing the font is here, if we go to the open rows drawing production and if the model annotations are removed for this model that quantity table was removed so I can re-annotate it and have the quantity table reappear um, but the text that we placed in it is obviously gone so it may be more advantageous to go ahead and place that in there on top of it and uh, that way if it's re-annotated we save a little extra effort uh, and not have to come back and do that again later. So now that I'm in kind of my drawing model, I've gone ahead and created the uh, the lengths for each one of these, two, or each of these two sections here. So I have 69 on this section and 60 on this section. I can use the compute quantities value and I'll select the add button and I'll select just these two pieces of text. And then I'll hit the seeding calculation. And notice this may be different on your project. You know, you'll enter in the, the distance between stations. So I'll hit that seeding. And again, it's using this earthwork shapes um, level that I had. So maybe on the sheet, I need to change this back. Or I could change it after it's placed. I'll just go ahead and place it. So I can go ahead and just drop that in my shape or in the quantity table there. Um, there are going to be some challenges here. This is not perfect. Uh, what happens when you get to the next, the, the, the section at the top of the sheet, and then it, you have to calculate it with the section on the next sheet. Um, you know, it's not going to be perfect. So maybe one suggestion would be to go ahead and place these, uh, generate these lengths in, in, into the drawing models, and then populate a, them into a spreadsheet to come up with the, the totals for each section um, and even maybe the total for each sheet so we'll, not, we'll need to populate that here as well so you could even use the add strings once you have the actual area for all three sections you could use that and come back and compute the total for the sheet so hopefully that helps and no it's not perfect so if you need additional support from our office related to ODOT plans production or ORD workspace you can visit our Bentley communities page or use our CAD support request form